Hey what's up this is Andy VFX and in this video we are going to take a look at how to properly backup a Premiere Pro project uh, once we finish the editing. Also you can use this method to move a Premiere Pro project to one computer to another. For example uh, you have uh, completed the editing uh, in your home computer and you want to export the project in your office computer. You can use uh, this method to properly move your Premiere Pro project uh, from your home computer to office computer. So let's take a look at how we are going to do that, right? So this is the finished editing, right? So once you completed the editing, uh, go to the file and then you can go to the uh, project manager. When you click on that, uh, it will open a project manager dialog box and here you can select uh, whether you need to back up the or the entire project or uh, you can select if you have multiple sequences or uh, you can select uh, multiple sequences here so this is the sequence number 23 so you have can see that uh, the checkbox is here so now uh, all the footage that is uh, relevant to sequence number 23 uh, we can copy to one location right so select the sequences you have if you have multiple sequences you can select them here then you have option uh, resulting project you have two options uh, collect files and copy to new location or consolidate and translate tra transcode so uh, because we are going to back up this we want to collect all the uh, source materials and the premiere pro project file and copy to a new location uh, in a new folder that way we can move that folder to folder to any uh, new computer and start editing from there so i select this option and then you can uh, give the destination path uh, you can select the folder you want right so i select a folder uh, right so i give name backup so i selected the folder and then uh, you can see the available uh, disk, uh, disk uh, space on that uh, hard drive and the original uh, project site you can click on calculate so you can get an idea about uh, what would be the resulting project file size in this case it's a uh, 373 uh, megabyte so that way the resulting project will be uh, this amount of uh, megabytes so once you do that uh, click ok uh, the option require project to be saved uh, this will message appear so you can save and continue so now it's analyzing the project and it will uh, it is uh, copying all the source materials uh, to the uh, location that we uh, selected so now we have uh, properly back up the uh, Premiere Pro project. Now we go to the location. So this is the folder I selected. When you go to that uh, uh, folder, you can see copied untitled. So because I haven't given a name uh, for this project, uh, it has named untitled. You can give a pro proper uh, file name for the project. When you click on that, uh, you can see the Premiere Pro project and the result uh, or the uh, required uh, source files. Now uh, you can copy this and backup, uh, you can send this to a backup drive or you can copy this uh, to your pen drive and move it to a new computer in your office and then you can start uh, editing by just opening uh, this file on that computer. So this is how properly backup a uh, Premiere Pro project uh, and how to move a Premiere Pro project uh, from one computer to another. Right, so stay tuned, uh, we will be back with more uh, exciting Adobe Premiere tutorials. Thanks. Thank you.